I thought I'd show you how you can rekey locks for a patio slider. And this is a traditional patio slider here. And what you can do is actually pull out the insert on the back, like so, and then you punch out the deal and you can put a key, you can put a lock set in there. Now this lock set will work for um, Wiser, quick set, West Lock, Shields, Security, and a few others. Pretty common, pretty common five pin key. Okay. So, um, also you can order a uh, metal handle that actually has a cylinder lock included. I'm just going to be rekeying some locks today um, to go in to an existing patio that already has two keyed lock entries. So I'm just going to rekey these locks to match the front door. So um, this particular lock set actually has the numbers on the key. A lot of times you don't get that. Um, but you can use a legend here and you print it on the side. But you can also use the quick set legend here in order to measure. So right here I got a five. Just like so. You can write those down. Okay, another and five. You can match up your pins. And so on. What I have here is a, a routine kit. And this is a follower. This is a cylinder removal tool. But you don't need the cylinder removal tool for this one as the cylinder is already out. What you may need or want is there's a special um, rotating deal to rotate this back off because this has a locking pin right here and a screw. Now to get around it you can actually depress the little locking pin with a tool and then take the back off just by rotating it once you depress the little locking pin. Again, it's easier if you have the tool, but if you don't, you can use a flathead screwdriver or something just to press it down and rotate the back cover off. And once you put it back on, you kind of have to follow the same, the same form. Got a little pair of tweezers here that might work easier. And you want to be careful not to lose the spring inside there once you get it off. So here it is. Here's the little cover and there's the pin there. And you'll see the little spring is going to follow that. So we'll keep that. And once we're finished rekeying the lock, we'll put that back in place. Now what you want to do is turn your key so that it's sideways from this cylinder here because inside here is the springs and the top pins. We want to keep those in place by using the follower tool. So what I'm going to do is push out the existing key using the follower tool to follow it in and keep those pins nicely locked in there. Okay. And now here's my existing pins and I can just dump these out. Okay, and now we're ready for our new key. Again, this one has the numbers on the side, so that'll make it nice and easy to line them up. This goes from back to front. That's the key order, so starting here, I can match the corresponding number, which is listed up top. And everything should, in theory, line up here. Now, this one is actually not lining up very well. And there it is. Okay. So I may need a different pin. Cut 
the wrong number there. Okay, there we go. So I got all my pins lined up and they all line up across the top. And now I'm ready to push the follower back in. Again, want to make sure that the full portion of the follower is lining up with the keys and going to insert it in sideways like so and push the follower back out. And I'm just kind of maintaining a little back pressure and making sure my key rotates and turns. Okay. Now we're ready to put the spring and the little locking pin back in place. So you can use the little tweezers for that. My tweezers are kind of bent there. We'll drop the spring down in place and drop the pin down in place. Follow it up with the cam. Now I'm actually going to be reusing, well, you can reuse the cam from your old piece or my particular units, I actually have to um, cut off the deal at four and a half. It just has these breakaway tabs. So I'll show you that in a minute. And all I do for that is use a pair of lock cutters. Cut it on down. So I'm just depressing that tab so that I can tighten this on. And we just need it tight enough, not super, super tight, but tight enough to do the job that it's supposed to do. And that's one lock rekeyed, and I've got one to go to finish it off. Okay. So now, for this piece, this extends through the handle into the other side. And mine is, these breakaway tabs, the proper distance for mine is at about four and a half. And so what I use is lock cutters for that. So here it goes. Right in between four and five. That's just what works out for my particular setup. And there we go. So I'm at four and a half, and that one's ready for install. And I might as well pre-cut my other one. I'm going to rekey this one as well. I'll try to give you a little different view. Anyway, I'm going to do this at four and a half. There we go, four and a half. So I'm trimmed down and ready there. And now we'll rekey this lock. Okay. Again, I'm gonna press the little pin down. Again, just being careful not to lose the spring.
Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to take out the spring and the little deal, little pin. Okay, turn in my deal opposite. Pushing the follower in. And following the cylinder through so that all my top pins are held in place. Dump out the pins. And again, ready for the ready for the new pins. Okay, and just make sure everything lines up good, and it does. It's now ready to insert, reinsert. That last one just seems to be popping up a little bit, making me a little nervous there. Make sure. Okay, and now we're ready to reinsert push the follower back out. Yeah, that last pin is hanging up just a little bit. Hmm. I was afraid of that. I can try going a number down, but that may not be good either. Let's see what's going on there. I'll try a two in that last one. Instead of a three. And that looks that looks pretty good. I don't know. try it. I'm just worried it's going to get locked in there. Give it a shot. Yeah, that actually worked much better. Okay, so I just had to modify it a little bit even though the number here said three. It just happened to work better with this particular cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to reinsert the spring and our locking pin. And now we're going to put our cover on. And I'll need to push the locking pin in so I can turn it in. Okay, and I don't want it to be too tight there or I won't be able to turn it, so I'm going to have to back it off just one notch. There we go. Okay. And now we got both of our keys rekeyed and ready to go. And that's how you can rekey patio cylinder door locks. Again, this will just go in the back of our patio door. And the only tricky spot there, got your patio door here. And you'll insert this here, and there's the keyed entry. And the tricky part is just which way this rotates to work with the handle. So that's the only little bit of a tricky part, but it's not too hard. You just try it both ways. 
until you find the way that works. Uh, with the handle both to latch it from the inside as well as to lock and unlock from the outside. Good to go. That's how you can rekey patio entry doors.